Hey everybody, um, just wanted to do a quick video on uh, installation of these uh, rough country uh, rock sliders that I just picked up. Um, the manual that comes with it, as they normally do, it's just not uh, 100%. Uh, so I just wanted to you know, help out uh, whoever's doing this kind of an install uh, it says tools needs a 13 mil uh, wrench and socket um, yes you do need one of those for some bolts on the uh, mounting bracket but you also need a 16 mil uh, socket and a 10 mil either socket wrench or, or if you have um, a ratchet end box or ratchet box end uh, wrench or just a normal um, 10 mil wrench will we'll do the job uh so i didn't film the part of taking off the factory uh guardrails i'm going to call them side steps um because it's quite easy the reason why i'm doing this is my last trip or two trips ago i uh i actually <laughs> hit a big rock and ripped this bracket right out of the bottom end of the um out of the guardrail or sidestep I'm gonna call them sidestep um, and uh, I'm getting into a little bit more aggressive uh, off-roading now so I thought the sliders are good and these ones are great because they have an integrated step and I've got a little guy and my wife and um, so it's easier for them to get in and out it's not a monster truck by any means but it's two and a half inch lift with 35 so it's a little bit for them to get up and in um, but I did want to kind of go over what you need to do uh the removal of the factory side steps um i'll just tuck under here and show you a couple things um you've got there's the three locations where you take out uh the bolts for these guys there's a 13 mil this is a, the 13 mil uh bolt um which is, let's see if we can grab that extra bracket, which is, would go here in this slot. Um, and then you have the two uh, 10 mil bolts that bolt through the body. Um, that's this locate, those locations right there. Um, they almost look like rivets because they're like a capped screw. Um, but uh, th it's just nuts on either side. So what I did is I, took the 13 mil socket and I removed all six, three on each side of the vehicle. Then I came back with the 10 mil and removed the um, nuts, the 10 mil nuts uh, here and here. And uh, the only thing with the socket wrench is the painted part of the body to this part um, on the front end of the vehicle is a little narrow to have um, your socket wrench in with the socket and then when you start spinning that out the body of the actual socket wrench can kind of jam up against that but at by that point once you can you know don't fully take it out just pull it off and you can free spin those nuts off and you're you're good to go um this section actually gets a little bit wider as you go down uh, toward the back of the jeep so back in here for the other two sets uh of the 10 mil bolts it's easy peasy just with the socket wrench you just spin them off then you pull those guys off the factory side steps and you're at almost at this point um what they didn't mention in the manual is these nuts here uh on the frame mount are 16 mil um so take those off with 16 mil save them because you have to use those again to remount the uh rough country um, sliders so what happens is once you I'm just going to say this now because I'm not going to get back down here at this moment but once you put the brackets on top of the onto the uh, new rails um, you leave those nuts the mounting nuts on the rails a little bit loose um, and then it comes up here and mounts underneath here then those bolts will come back up here but then I'll pop back up and show you what I'm talking about um yeah so 
these, sorry. Um, so these are the brackets I was talking about. You have, um, they've got them stamped or laser cut, uh, plasma, whatever it is. Um, JKR, JKC, and JKF. Um, now, the, like they're just grabbing them from a bin, so if this is backwards, it doesn't matter. Um, just as long as the flange part is up, obviously, on these guys. Um, and these bolts here are the ones that you just put in, and I've just kind of finger tightened them in. Because um, then once you put this up onto the truck, and then you come back um, between the body and the and the slider with the 13 mil wrench and just tighten them up and then tighten those two 16 mil bolts uh, up from underneath. And just to give you a reference, um, a reference point uh, as far as where these brackets go, because it is pretty much symmetrical when you're looking at it and there are a couple other things. I just thought I'd throw this in here too. Um, rear and center go here uh, an indication that this is the back side of the rail is that there are two large uh, holes cut out here um, then you move along the front you have another spot for a bracket here and I think that's for Bronco I'm not 100% sure but I think that's the deal and then you have uh, your front mount um, now this guy you have to make sure that the angle of this is going out that way um, because because they're opposite one side and the other uh, you'll have one if you were to put it on backwards it would go this way you want it to go out this way toward the front uh, tire basically um, uh, but that's it at this point um, we've got it you know loosely mounted onto the the brackets onto the the sliders and then i'm just gonna pop up i've got the milk crates here because i'm doing this on my own uh it is a pretty heavy slider uh i should be okay but just to have the the milk crates there if one end slips and at least it won't come crashing down and just rest down on the milk crate um but uh i'll take a snapshot or something like that after it's on i guess um but yeah, uh, I think the next thing I'm going to, I mean, the next thing I think I'm going to do is some uh, flat fenders. Because um, I am getting into some pretty tight spots and, you know, cracking these off isn't fun. Uh, so if I've got something a little bit that can, you know, take a little bit of a hit, then more the better. Uh, I did throw on a rugged ridge front bumper and uh, chucked on a... 10,000 pound winch on it um, that was last year in February this is February this year last year there was about a foot and a half of snow here so um, at this time so I had a friend that had a shop and uh, I popped in there to do it uh, which was awesome and then uh, so I didn't film any I didn't actually bring my phone with me then um, and then I've just put on this barricade rear bumper with the integrated uh, tire carrier um which is pretty sweet i love it uh i've got a little bit of tweaking to do on it because i am on a little bit of an angle here it's tilting down i think it has something to do with the bearing pack in here um but should be an easy uh easy fix but that's worked out quite well um yeah so we're getting in a little bit more aggressive stuff now so um i thought i'd kind of beef it up a little bit and uh help protect the rest of the body even though it's dirty <laughs> i'll give it a wash after i guess uh yeah so hopefully everything works out to freaking buttes and uh we'll be back on the trails uh, we head out with uh niagara area jeep club shout out to them awesome club they're phenomenal people um and we head up to minden uh shout out to minden off-road park amazing people and then we generally pop up to uh, Ardbeg mid-summer so it's it's a blast 
Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps out anybody that's thrown on the uh, rough country uh, rock sliders and uh, hope to see you on the trail. If you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up. The YouTube channel is a little bit of a mix. I've got um, uh, a bar that I made with an end scale train going through it. That was kind of the first thing that set it off the channel. And then uh, a couple of fish tanks and stuff. And I thought I'd help, help the community out by doing some instructional stuff on on the Jeep hardware. So anyways, uh, cheers and uh, hope to see you on the trails.